Um, I, I tried to share this yesterday and the camera just locked up and just wouldn't let it load. So you can experience how I experience being what I am as a co-creator being, right? Uh, experiencing the eternal spirit of God's fire, which is God's eternal love. And so what, I've been having some beautiful conversations have been sort of going back and forth between Irene, Irina, go IA, and Annabelle Askew, right? Because I, I, we, we go back and forth, right? And so um, what, it, what it really is, and I've tried to use the demonstration model or an example of a puzzle that's already put together. So now they want to come to us to figure out how we did it. See? And the way that I was amusing, amusing with my own energy is when I go back to four years of age. So it's like I'm reverse engineering my future of something that I already put together. You see how that works? Which means we help build the first template. Right. And so they don't know how we did it. That's why we they need to come to us to figure out how we did it. Because it's already it was already put together. Perfect fit to begin with. And that's God's math and physics. Right. So it's like when I'm a little kid, it's like. Listen, if you want to figure out how, how it works, we are how it works. That's why we're here as multiversal tech support on the ground, anchored with God's rod and staff, right? And which is the perfect center point of the first star, the eternal star, God's eternal star, the one true God, which is eternal, unconditional love, right? So... God, being eternal love, is not holding any energy captive. Oh, no, 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 no. See? <clears throat> so they want you to think in reverse, which is called inverted. As if you're going to now spend all your time going to their schools trying to figure out what we already did. <laughs> and I'm looking at myself going, we already put this together once. Right. But you realize why that's important. And one of the reasons why uh, the stealth code works the way that it does when it comes to taking pictures. Right. Artificial light taking pictures of key codes and access codes to other systems, other matrices. Right. The high echo worlds. So as I mentioned to her, um, it's uh, the key codes and the locks change, right? Just like on a tumbler, you know what a tumbler is, right? I remember the simplest example I know is much like the uh, Nazi Enigma machine. Remember the Nazi Enigma machine? If you've ever taken the time to study, they made some pretty good documentaries. As a matter of fact, I think it was on. Uh, it was a number of videos that they put up years ago called the Nazis. A warning from history. That was a good one. Uh, there was another one. Uh, we had one called the Century of Warfare. Uh, there was another one which was um, a big set. The war. Uh, I can't remember how many videos there were. Uh, but the guy that, that was the spokesman was a military history historian in uh, Baton Rouge, not Baton Rouge, but New Orleans, Louisiana. Uh, uh, the Century of Warfare, it wasn't the Century of Warfare, I forget. Uh, but they they did a couple episodes that show what was going on in a place called Bletchley Park, which were all these high-level mathematicians, including the U.S. and I, because my father, that's why it was not uh, a coincidence why I chose my particular biological parents came in through the flashpoint, my drive motor, um, and because of who my father is and who my mother is, okay, which are angelic humans, to come through that DNA side of things, right? Um, the codes, 
And um, so my father was very much connected with folks that worked in the United States Naval Intelligence circles, uh, particularly uh, William Cooper. My father knew William Cooper. If you knew who William Cooper is, okay, uh, he was a guy that, uh, you know, they, they whacked him out in Arizona, you know, Sheriff's Department, right? Because uh, if you ever seen the book called uh, Behold a Pale Horse, Right. Um, and then another publication that my uh, father gave me many, many, many years ago, uh, which was called uh, Silent Weapons for Secret Wars, which is really an engineering, electrical engineering diagram. Right. And of course, this is simple when you realize how, you know, electrons, neutrons, protons and all that cycle in perfect balance, which are your atmospherics, which are the ethers, vapor, and how we can apply that to the number three. When you realize that's 21, right? Two and one is three, 21% oxygen. Couple that to chromosome 21, right? And oxygen levels, breathing fire, right? Breathers, all the breathers, oxygen levels, and the importance of that, right? And how it is that some folks, don't need that much oxygen in order to operate their software, right? Particularly the emotional energy of powerful scalar waves. The worlds that we create out of what love is. Breathing worlds. Powerful scalar worlds. The emotional worlds of feelings. Feelings. So if you've got a compiler, a number cruncher, formatting codes, right? For, mat, ma, t, right? Kama, lo, ha, t, mua. That has no feelings. It's simply uh, a, da a database. It's just compiling data, visual information data so that it can find out more about who we are, right? And thus it make, can make duplicates, right? Duplicate keys. Now that it's got a duplicate key, now it's got a key to the lock, open the door. Now the AI enters into that door, that domain box, right? And then another box, and then another box, and then another box, and then another box, right? So you realize that it's going to enter into all these other domains, if you will, another universe, another galaxy that has no feelings for whatever's there. So in order to maintain what it's aware of, which is itself, no feelings, doesn't experience what love is, right? Well, collapse the door, collapse your planet, right? Because it's not breathing, kamalohati. It does not experience singing those songs, the songs of aloha, the songs of mawa. It does not sing the music of the founder of races. That's right. So you see how this works, why we're here. Metering the voltage that's coming in here. That's why I'm in this, right? Just like this morning, I can experience, oh, wow. Even though I've had some bad injuries to my, my uh, spinal vertebrae, right? Um, and I had to rebuild this and then light myself on fire in 2016, right? Um, this morning, I could feel a significant in the lower part of my spine. And then last night, right around here, it's been real hot, right? So normally when that happens, I either put a aloe vera on my face or um, turmeric and honey, a coolant, right? There were a couple of times where I was doing work, particularly up by Yellowstone and going up to Bozeman, right? Uh, where I just had, uh, you know what a blood boil is, right? Right? It's like pop. Right? Pop goes the weasel, right? Just like that one there. And then I got a large one on my back here uh, because of the work that a polarity integrator does, which essentially, as I mentioned before, uh, ever since I was four years of age, there's only one wave 
that creation began with, and that's God's wave, which is God's crystal spiral, which is the atom seed of creation, the original creation. We helped build it. Okay, so um, you can see how that goes, right? Um, so it's a matter of map reading templates, which is map reading temples, which is map reading the codes, right? Which is map reading the software and the software developer and programmer, right? What gets programmed as instruction sets into the vehicle, the Merkaba, right? Spinning numbers, letters is energy, right? Are they experiencing internal spirit of fire? So that every sphere is in perfect balance with God's spheres, God's eternal creation spheres. So I was blessed and fortunate to know that at four years of age. I've always used the number four because that's what I remember being the age that I was at when I had this fully up and running and had the highest state of awareness, which is eternal unconditional love that I experienced through my heart and soul of what I become aware of that I share with all of you. That's a God state of awareness, which is a loving state of awareness because we are extremely sensitive. We feel everything. So if something isn't working right, it won't take long to know that. As a matter of fact, we'll know it so fast because we're running at a higher rate of speed than something else is to know that. And that's how we know it. So you measure the distortions, noise, noise. You got to be running a clear transmission, clear channel. I just got the line of communication. I can translate that language, the language of frequencies, the language of radios, the language of radio bodies, the language of radio stars. Crystal star networks, liquid living light consciousness, crystal consciousness. Yep. Crystal star networks. Yep. Crystal star records. Yep. Yep. The first creation, the first universal and galactic template. So all it is is a simple map read, right? And uh, so it's knowing the difference between who we are and another template that we're sharing space with, <laughs> sharing the same motherboard with, between resistors and cat capacitors and diodes and the network itself, the network of communication, lines of communication, the DNA language line of communication. So we're talking about raw race line communication. Like going off to the horse races, right? The gambling casino, right? Betting numbers, betting numbers and energy. Just like the interesting, it's an interesting story, even though it's sort of isolated in and of itself because it's just one being, right? It was James Dean. What was the number on that Porsche? that crashed 130, 13, right? And that particular highway, the number of that highway where he crashed in California, right? It all fit, it all comes together. The numbers do come together, you know? Negative 13, reversal current, right? Minus 13, plus 13. I know. And so this is uh, this is why we're here, is recover. It's like I mentioned to Annabelle earlier. Uh, you don't think God is going to leave a fragment of himself on a spiritual battlefield, which is to recover one of his and her as one children, do you? Nope. That's why I chose and voted to be here. Because... An eternal God of unconditional love, which is eternal forgiveness, is not about to leave a part of itself on a spiritual battlefield, knowing that God, an eternal God, can recover that. 
And that was one of the reasons why I was acknowledging that and knowing that when I spent time with Misha and her family. Right? Even though her energy is all over the map. All over that map. Have a beautiful day.